I love me some Debo Samuel, but he's just not fit for the Detroit Lions. Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome back to Detroit Lions Syndicate, your home for everything Detroit Lions. So make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so you won't miss another video. Now, listen, don't click off this video. I want to take some time to say thank you for helping me cross 900. We gained 50 subscribers yesterday. We are 50 away from 2,000, and we had that goal in mind by the NFL draft. So thank you guys so much. And do me a favor, and if you have been here before, subscribe, and let's take this thing all the way. Rumors came out today that Debo Samuel wants a trade. Now, typically, I wouldn't make a video about this, but being on Twitter, you know, the toxic Twitter, everybody wants to get a piece of every big name, and Debo Samuel is no different. Detroit Lions fans, some of them would love to see Debo Samuel in Detroit. I've seen Photoshop images already of him in a Detroit Lions uniform. I'm here to tell you that not only is that not likely, even though the Detroit Lions, according to Ian Rappaport, are one of the teams interested in Debo Samuel. Every team is interested in Debo Samuel. He is a game-changing playmaker that we know. But one thing that we do know is that we have our own Debo Samuel in Amon Ra St. Brown, who came alive last year. And if you watch the games like I did, you saw that they were getting him involved and he was looking like Debo Samuel out there. He had running plays from the backfield, would take the ball as a running back. All of that was our own Amon Ra St. Brown. So for me, I'm going to pass on Debo Samuel. We still need a number one receiver. We do not have that on this team as of yet. All we will be getting is a carbon copy of what we already have. Now, Debo Samuel is on the last year of his rookie contract. According to the rumor tree, shout out to the Dern, the rumors are coming out that Debo Samuel wants to be paid like the rest of the wide receivers. Christian Kirk really kind of blew the market open. Devontae Adams followed. We got deals going to Derek Carr. Now we got the Cheetah breaking the bank. And now Debo Samuel wants the 49ers to make him that type of deal. As I said to the fellas, it's a good thing the collective bargaining agreement that we got that 10-year deal because some something could really be coming the way that these receivers are getting paid. If we look at Debo's stats, he is a beast. I mean, he really came alive in 2021. He had 77 receptions for 1,405 yards. He averaged 18.2 a reception. His long was 83, and he had six touchdowns. But the year, the years before that, he was just average. I mean, last year in 2020, he was 33 receptions, 391 yards, 11.8 average, 35 long and one touchdown. I'm assuming he was injured that year. And his rookie year, he had 57 receptions, 802 yards, 14.1 average, 42 long with three touchdowns. Debo Samuel will be an unrestricted free agent next year, very similar to DK Metcalf. This year, he has a base salary of just under $4 million with a signing bonus of just under one. His cap hit is almost $5 million with the debt cap of just under $1 million. And his yearly cash is just under $4 million as well. Now, as I said before, Debo Samuel wants to be paid. It came out today via Ian Rappaport, NFL Network, that he wants to be paid. I kind of knew this was going to be a thing coming into the season once Christian Kirk broke open the bank. And then you start seeing Devontae Adams, Cheetah. People are getting paid. These wide receivers are getting paid. Makes Calvin Johnson's deal from back in the day not that bad, right? Because at the time, he was the talk of the town with the contract that he got. But now, they're blowing that out of the water, these receivers. So are the Detroit Lions interested in Debo Samuel? Well, only they know that. But who's not interested in Debo Samuel? I would have to say that the interest is probably similar to us wanting Deshaun Watson. We already have a quarterback. Where would Debo Samuel fit on this team? Now, if we didn't have Amon Ross St. Brown, that would be different. In addition to that, if he wants to be paid and he's with a winning organization, what do you think he's going to want from the Detroit Lions coming up? Now, a lot of you guys scoffed at DK Metcalf saying that he, he's going to want to be paid too much. You can't come around now saying that you would take a Debo Samuel because I'm pretty sure he's going to want more money than what DK Metcalf is probably going to receive just came out not too long ago that the 49ers are going to want to haul to trade away Debo Samuel we just heard maybe two weeks ago that the 
Seattle Seahawks were looking for two first-round picks for DK Metcalf. What do you think they're going to want for Debo Samuel? So leave it in the comments below. Would you trade for Debo Samuel? And if so, how much would you be willing to give, give up for him? For me, I'm okay. We got our own Debo Samuel in Amon Ra St. Brown. And if you haven't seen it, go check out a video. It's about three or four minutes long where Amon Ra is saying how disrespected he felt being the 17th receiver taken in the draft. He said he knows all 16 that was taken before him by name and that when he wasn't drafted on day two, that he went out and immediately start, started on the jugs machine. So I'm telling you, this guy, he's going to be the real deal. He showed that last season, and he is who I'm rolling with. I'm not going to give up the, the farm for any receiver, uh, including Debo Samuel. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Again, I want to thank you for helping me get to where I am. Almost 2,000 subscribers. Started this channel October 27th. Really started putting in some work um, two days after the season. And I was able to build this channel from scratch. And it's all because of you. I really didn't know if I had, if, if I could do it, to be honest. And uh, that that makes me makes me happy that you guys value my opinion some of you know what we've been through on this platform and to start from scratch from the dirt i'm like jay-z i deserve every blessing i receive i'm from the dirt and i appreciate that man thank you guys so much looks like we might make that 2000 by the nfl draft speaking of nfl draft the nfl draft will day one for the first time me being on youtube i get to host that that's going to be on the gridiron blitz which is my streaming channel uh next thursday so a week from tomorrow the 28th We'll be on about 7.30 or so, and we'll be ready to talk. The panel will be on, Mike or Mike, Mark Orham, The Dern. Uh, we'll have Spirit of Detroit podcast. We're going to have a good show for you guys, and I hope to see you there. So you guys are awesome, and as always, go Lions.